I thought, where's the most isolated place in Britain? So I went round. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles of nothingness. Looked across the loch, saw this woodland. That's the place. Loch Traig. It's known as the Lonely Loch. There's no road here. But they used to live here before they built the dam. And all their ruins are down there. How many miles do you reckon we just walked? 27 each way. 54 miles just to post a letter. So when I leave here, when will you next see someone? Uh, it could be the next day. It could be a fortnight. I don't really know. at the clock and it'll say a time and you think you've gone through a day and look at it again and only five minutes have passed. It's terrible. Do you think the quality of life is far better living in the lodge? Is it, is it a very happy, comfortable life for you? Yeah. If you moved into a flat here in Fort William, you, you'd have carers and nurses, you'd have yeah. money coming in. But the quality of life? Mm. That'd be a yeah, big question mark over there. to stop like I can. Nope, I live to 102, but uh, if, if I have another one, yeah. then uh, it'll be different then. Mentally, you're better in the lodge. Physically, you're better in Fort William. Yeah. Since I had a stroke, Alan has uh, uh, been bringing me uh, food every few weeks. People these days have been very good to me. I think if you love the land, it sort of loves you back. It loves you back in all the things it produces for you. Warm water to dissolve the sugar and sterilise it. Next, the yeast. How much do you think you've got there in total, gallon-wise? Eight, sixteen, thirty-two. There's thirty-two gallon that's visible and uh, another eight there. That's forty up to now, forty gallon, and I've got about seventy altogether. When I die, instead of everybody moaning and sad, I want everybody to be merry, getting pissed up, all on their wine. Who all are you going to invite? Anybody can come that I know, and they'll know me, so they'll come. I have had lots of incidents, and I seem to have survived them all. And I know one thing, for sure, no matter what, I am bound to go ill again sometime. Something will happen to me that will take me away one day, is it just for everybody else? But I'm hoping it, uh, I'll get to 102. 